What boat is this? Because it I can't. And everyone knows it because it crashed. So the Titanic was a cruise liner that sailed uh, in April of 1912. Who was alive in 1912? Me. Me. I'm like 100. Okay. Who was ever told a lie? Me. Yeah, right. <laughs> It left, it left Southampton, New Hampshire, uh, Southampton, New Hampshire, left Southampton, England, heading for New York City, and it was the, the most amazing ship built in its day. They said that God himself could not sink this ship. It was so well done. Does anybody know how many times the Titanic sailed across the ocean? Zero. Zero. Oh, I didn't get it, across. It went down on the first try. It never even made it across once. Now, um, and this is very serious. I mean, this is like, you know, people died. It's horrible. Um, does anybody know how many people were aboard the ship at the time? Two thousand. Two thousand. Caitlin, you're the closest. They were, what's this? There were... 2,200 people were on that boat. And anybody know how many died on April 14th? 1,500 people died. How many people survived? 700 survivors. Okay. All day, Jesus. All right. So, does anybody know what sunk the Titanic? An iceberg. An iceberg. You're, you're all wrong. It was not an iceberg that sunk the Titanic. Was it air? It was not air. It was not God. We'll talk about it. It was. It was not the water. I will give. Look, this is the easiest test in the world. I'm going to give you the answer. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. So. The captain wanted to be famous, and he became famous. So here's the captain, and he's on the Titanic, and he knows that he wants to break the world record for the quickest, because people have gone from England to America before, lots of times, on boat, but he wanted to win the world record. So he went full steam ahead. And did you know that it wasn't like, oh, there's a Titanic, there's a, a iceberg, oh no, and it cracked. That wasn't the way it worked. They knew there were icebergs. They were radioed ahead of time. There are icebergs. And they, the, the captain said, it's okay. This ship is so amazing, it's gonna smash right through those icebergs. It doesn't matter. He knew about it. In fact, he, uh, they smashed the first iceberg on a farm. They smashed through a second iceberg on a farm. The third iceberg, that was the one that caused problems. But it wasn't an iceberg that sunk the Titanic. Now, if you are just a regular person, you just want to go on the nicest luxury liner in the world, and you don't care about world records, and you're sleeping and you're nice, you entrusted something to the captain very important. What did you entrust to that captain? What was it? What's your name? Nicole, you are very smart. You have, what's this? You have entrusted your... You've entrusted your life to that captain. And that captain, look at the blue. You've entrusted your life to that captain. And that captain was reckless. He just wanted to win the record. And he took something that was precious and many people lost their life because when that third iceberg hit, Something happened to that boat. What happened to the boat? It sunk. Went down backwards. It's okay. 2,200 people. 1,500 people died. 700 people survived. None of them had to die that night. They could have slowed down. They could have stayed put, they could have gone around. But that captain, who had something very important and precious given to him, the life of 2200, 
he had something that made the Titanic sink. Does anybody know what it is? Is it not an iceberg? Nope. It is this. Pride. It is pride that sunk the Titanic. The Titanic did not need to go down. But that captain, he didn't, he wanted the glory, he wanted the honor, he wanted the fame, he wanted his ship to be remembered, and it was for a horrible reason. Now, 1,500 people died, 700 people survived. If you were living in, if you were had loved ones either in America or in England, you want to know. What do you want to know about your loved ones who are on that boat? If you live, did they survive? Right. Now, they didn't have CNN, they didn't have Fox News, they didn't have ABC, they didn't have iPhones and Androids and all kinds of stuff. So what they had was in in uh, Hampton, England, where they where they sailed, they put up two boards, and as the names of the survivors came through, it took days and days and weeks to find out who survived. They had two lists. And the two lists said this. Shout out when you know it. Two different lists. This is the most important list of your life. Lost world. Oh, no, no, no. Lost world. Lost world. That's all you want to know. Which list are you on? Are, is your loved ones on? Are they lost or are they saved? And that's all you care about. Now, I have to tell you something. Fifteen hundred people were lost. Seven hundred people were saved. How many people of all of them are living today? One. Zero. Because. The bad news is that everybody dies. Whether you die in a Titanic, uh, your, sink, your, your boat goes down, or you die in your sleep in 1912. In April 14th, 1912. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, everybody's gonna die. In, 100, in 150 years from now, every single person on this planet will be dead. Or, if not much sooner, 200 years from now. They're all going to be dead, or maybe much sooner. You don't know. Ah. We're all going to die. And the question is, the question is, what are we going to do when we die? Because this, the captain had something important entrusted to him. What was entrusted to him? The life. And he blew it because of, don't go away, come on back. What? Come on back. This is the best part. This is the best part? Okay, this is the best part. See, it's pride that is going to stop us from having life. And that's true not just for the captain, but for us too. Because the Bible says that we are separated from God. If God is up here in heaven and we're down here, there's something that gets in the way and it, it puts a, a big black line in between us. Do you know what that, no, wait, it's coming. Do you know what that is, what gets in the way between us and God? It's called? Destruction. Oh. Sins. Yeah. And no, 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 the best part's coming. Now, you guys know what sinning is. Breaking God's law. We talked. Wait, no. No. We, we, we talked about this earlier, right? We talked about this earlier. So, some sins. Have you ever told a lie? That's the ninth commandment. God says you shall not lie. Who here has ever told a lie? Everybody. Okay, you've broken God's law. God's law says you should not steal. Take something that doesn't belong to you. Who here has ever taken something that doesn't belong to them? Okay. Who here has disobeyed their parents? Okay. Who here, the first commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Who here has failed that? Everybody, because if you've broken any of them, you've broken that one. Now that's four commandments. You know, there's six more. And we've all broken all of them. We've all broken all of them. The Look, when I say this, when you break the rules, do you get rewarded or punished? You get punished. The Bible says that, that it is appointed unto man once to die and then judgment. When we stand judgment before God, will we be punished or rewarded? Punished. So here's what man does. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it up to God. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be religious. How can we get to heaven? What are some things we can do? We can, we can try to love people. 
and we're going to try to make it up to God. We're going to go up to God. We're going to try to go to church. We're going to try to give money to the poor. We're going to try to be nice. We're going to be nice to our, we're going to kiss our Aunt Edna, even though we don't like it. We're going to do all kinds of nice stuff. But you know what? It doesn't matter. You can't get to God because of sin. The sin stops us from getting to God. But I have great news. It's that God came to us. He came down to us. It's a cross. Jesus Christ is God in human form. And he died on the cross. He never sinned once. Now, what do you do with someone who never sinned once? Do you treat him like a like a rock star? Do you treat him great? No. No, we took Jesus Christ because he was so great and we're so sinful that we put we put nails in his hands. And we put nails in his feet. And then if that weren't bad enough, we made fun of him. We put a crown of thorns on his head and he bled. And he died. And do you know that a thousand years before Jesus died on the cross, it says in the Bible, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. That 800 years before Jesus died on the cross, that the Bible predicted that God would send the Messiah and he would have his hands and feet pierced for, for us. This was written 800 years before it ever happened. And people say, how can I believe the Bible? This is how you can believe the Bible. If something's written 800 years, talking about your hands and feet pierced. There are many more, There's over 300 more prophecies that were written ahead of time. Dude. That we can, so here's what we need to do. There's two things that we need to do to be right with God. Jesus Christ, we sin. We owe a sin debt to God. Jesus Christ paid our fine, and we can go free. But if I give you a present, it's not good until you take it. And here's how you take it. Now, I'm kind of, hold, hold, it, just hold it to the end if you could, please. Now, the cross looks like what letter of the alphabet? You guys are smart. Trust and turn. Whoa, look at this guy. So what's the first number that starts with a T? Two. Two. There's two things you need to do. They both begin with T. What are they? <coughs> turn? What does turning mean? What's another word? A big word begins with an R. Okay. Rotate, yeah. Repent. And we can we can share something. Oh, this is my painting. I'm not sharing. So these lifeboats will certainly save your life. Okay. Uh, Jesus said that you must repent and believe the gospel, and that's what you need to do. Please, I beg you, all of us are going to die. Do you know 150,000 people die every single day? <laughs> and many of them were healthy and young like you. They're not all old cancer patients in a hospital. You're going to die someday, and you will stand before God. And if you stand before God based on what you've done, you will be punished. But I have great news. If you will turn from your sins and trust in Jesus Christ, that he's God in human form, and that he died, and then he did something that nobody's ever done. Many people have died. That's right. Many people have died on the cross. Historians say hundreds of thousands of people. But Jesus is something amazing. He rose again. He rose from the dead. And you know he rose from the dead on his own power. That's amazing. If anybody raises themselves with their own power, you listen to them. It means they have authority. It means we know that there's life after death. It means we can believe the Bible is true because Jesus died and rose again. And when you die, you can be forgiven if you turn and you trust. Don't be like the captain who let pride get in the way. You've been entrusted with a life, your own, your own. If you're prideful, you will not hear this message. And you'll say, eh, I don't care about Jesus. But if you humble yourself, and don't be prideful, and you turn from your sins and trust in Christ, then you will, when you die, be with Christ in heaven, and he'll change your life now. Thank you for listening. What questions do you have? Well, this has to do with Titanic.